Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Easter. We joyfully welcome you to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate Easter Sunday. A special welcome to those who are visiting or returning to public mass with us for the first time. Because of improving pandemic statistics in our area, we are inviting you to sing the brief acclamations of the mass. Um, before the gospel, during the consecration, and the Lamb of God. We will have to wait a while before singing the hymns or the responsorial song, but we joyfully invite you to take part in worship. Now, would you all please stand and raise your hearts in our opening hymn for our procession, Alleluia, Love is Alive. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the day 
Let the Lord is mad. Let us be glad and rejoice. Rejoice because our Lord Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. He is risen, alleluia, alleluia. He is risen, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. So in order for us, dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy of offering this holy Eucharist to God our Father with joy, let us first call to mind our sins so that we can join the risen Lord in this celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have passed a sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most given thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary as a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Son, have conquered death, and then lies for us the path of to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep
give the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection. May through the renewal brought by your spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as the judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord.
On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them. They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that has covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but hold up in a separate place. Then the other disciples also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, is the reason, Alleluia, Alleluia. Is the reason, Alleluia, Alleluia. Is the reason, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus, Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus Christ is risen.
Thank you. He is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, what does it mean? He is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. But what does it mean for us today? That is a question we can ask today. And how will you and I, and the entire God's creation is involved in this mystery of the resurrection. He's risen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, he is. But it is easy to say. But what does it mean for us today? Jesus is alive. Dear brothers and sisters, in order to understand that, we need to go in the scriptures because only the scriptures are talking to us about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. However, when we read those scriptures, the gospel today, I consider that something is missing the way that they are talking, the, the scriptures are talking about the resurrection. The scriptures are talking about the resurrection in the past. Like we say, we said that Jesus Christ is risen today. Today, but is risen in the past. We are not saying Jesus Christ is being right. He is risen in the past. So, dear brothers and sisters, now the question is, what happened in the present moment when Jesus raised from the dead? Because in the scripture they are saying, it is written that what happened when Jesus died on the cross, they brought him down. And what they did, they put him in the tomb and they locked the tomb and they went home. And in the Gospel of John that we read, I like proclaim it now, in the Gospel of John, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and he found that the tomb is empty, is open. So what happened between the moment they put Jesus in the tomb, they locked the tomb, and when Mary arrived to see the tomb empty, open? What happened in that moment? According to the synoptic gospel, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and Luke, when the lady went to the tomb, an angel said to him that he is risen. So, but what happened in the present moment? The time between when they locked the tomb and when the lady, Mark Magdal, Mary Magdalene, found the tomb open, empty. What happened in the present moment? Dear brothers and sisters, the mystery of resurrection lies there. And the gospel, the four gospels are silent about that present moment. They are talking to us, Jesus is risen in the past, but how about the time between in that moment? What happened? Dear brothers and sisters, in order for us to have an idea of what happened, we need to go to the scriptures again. Because no one was there except the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in this present moment. Only God was there. But the scriptures can help us to have an idea of what happened in that moment between when they locked the tomb and when they came to find it open and empty. Jesus is risen from the dead. When we go in the book of Genesis, dear brothers and sisters, because when God created the world at the beginning, no one was there. 
However, the book of Genesis is helping us to understand, to have an idea of what happened at the beginning of when God created the world. So, what happened in that moment? All was dark. And the first thing that come to be, came to be, is the light. Because God is light. And God is life. So, that darkness of the beginning could not stop the light who is God, who is Jesus. From him, all things was made. Is the light of the world. So, when... Jesus, God, created things. The light of the world shone forth, and the darkness of the origin could not stop that light. That is, God creation came to be through Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. And all in that time was good, even very good, when God created human beings. However, we human beings, dear brothers and sisters, because of our sin, we brought darkness in God's creation. We brought sin in God's creation. And the result is death. Death came with the darkness of sin. So now, God so loved us. He didn't want us to remain prisoner of the darkness of sin, to remain the prisoner of the darkness of death. That is why the light of the world, the light of the world who is Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, came in the world to bring again light in the world so that he can transform our life to live as a children of light. That's why Jesus came in the world. However, we human beings, sinners, we are sometimes allergic to the light. That is why we killed Jesus, crucified him, that light of the world, and we put him prisoner in the darkness of tomb. That is sin, death again. As we brought darkness in the beginning of the creation, even though God came, but we killed him and we put him again prisoner of the darkness. But dear brothers and sisters, like what happened in the beginning, the darkness of the beginning could not stop the light of the world, who is Jesus, from whom all things were made. That light, Jesus, when they put him prisoner of the tomb, that light, the darkness of the tomb, like the darkness of the beginning of the creation, the darkness of the tomb could not stop Jesus, who is the light of the world and who is life. That light, dear brothers and sisters, shine forth. That is the mystery of resurrection. The darkness of tomb, the darkness of death could not stop Jesus and keep him a prisoner of the tomb because he is life. He is light. In Jesus is God, Light and life coexist. That is why in this mystery of resurrection is the mystery of light, the Easter candle, the light of the Holy Spirit that shine forth for Jesus to be out of the tomb, not stay prisoner of the tomb. The power of the light of the Holy Spirit transformed his mortal body And having a glorified body, the body of the risen Lord, dear brothers and sisters. So now the question, how you and I 
are involved in this mystery of resurrection. The day of our baptism, dear brothers and sisters, we have received the life of the risen Lord. When we keep that life alive, that life helps us not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Thanks to the light of the Holy Spirit in us, we will never be prisoner of the darkness of tomb. Because the light of the Holy Spirit in us, the one who raised Jesus from the dead, the same light, the same Holy Spirit in, is in us. And when we will be in darkness of death or in darkness of tomb, we will not be alone because the Holy Spirit who is in us, the same who raised Jesus from the dead, the same Holy Spirit will be the same to us. That is what we are celebrating today. That is the mystery of resurrection. All of us and all God's creation is involved in this mystery of death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the resurrection of his beloved son, God made his creation anew. The light of the world came again, and no one should stay prisoner of the darkness of sin. My dear brothers and sisters, another reality. Easter mystery is the mystery of love. As we heard in the gospel today, those disciples were running in the tomb, to the tomb. Peter could not run fast, but John who was the first who arrived there. But what happened? When the second disciple arrived, Peter got in the tomb and that he saw what happened, that the body of Jesus was not there. But he stopped there, does it? But when the beloved disciple, that's why in the Gospel of John, John himself is calling himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved. The beloved disciple, when he got in the tomb, he just saw and believed. And dear brothers and sisters, that faith in the resurrection started with John, who saw and believed that faith the church transferred us to us. We are, therefore, the resurrected people. We are the people of the risen Lord. We share in, in that mystery of resurrection that involves love, dear brothers and sisters, love of God, love of ourselves, and love of others. Only that mystery of love can unite us in that mystery of death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like the beloved disciple, just when he saw and believed, may we have that faith in the resurrection. And may the Holy Spirit help us to keep that light we receive the day of our baptism. May the Holy Spirit help us to keep that light alive, the light of the Holy Spirit in us, so that one day when we leave this world, we will not be alone, but the light of the Holy Spirit will shine forth in us so that never we can remain prisoner of the darkness of tomb or prisoner of the darkness of sin. So let us pray the Holy Spirit to help us. And may our Mother Mary intercede for us also so that every day we can keep that light alive in us.
dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in the newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, 
This is the day of amazing grace. The crucified Jesus is risen, hallelujah. A new birth given to the elect. The whole church is renewed in Jesus' mercy and love. With exaltation and joy, in union with the entire church, let us now join the risen Christ and pray to the Father for the needs of the church, our community, and the world. For our Holy Mother Church, the visible sign of the risen body of Jesus, may she continue to grow up as a community rich in cultural, language, and national diversity, where all can experience the love of God, especially in this Easter time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, Joseph, our Pastor, and all the clergy, may they continue to show us the joy of being disciples of Jesus and lead us into this Easter time with our focus on the risen Jesus, Son of God, and born of the Virgin Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For life, the sick, and the dying, may the risen Lord enlighten the minds of government leaders to enable them to protect the sacredness of human life and the rights of every human being, born and unborn, to live and die in dignity and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For those who have been washed in the water of baptism and confirmed by the fire of the Spirit this Easter vigil, especially old and Whitman, may they grow among us in faith, hope, and charity as we live and work together as a community of faith in the risen Lord Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For all baptized who have renewed their baptismal promises this Easter, may we seek God's guidance in our decisions and live faithfully as children of the light and give witness to the risen Lord, as did Mary Magdalene. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For our relatives, friends, and all those who buried with Christ in baptism and have passed through the death of the body, may Christ Jesus, the victorious King who conquered death, welcome them to the everlasting feast of life and light. We remember all our prisoners who have been called to the Father before this blessing night, especially Gloria, who died this Holy, Holy Friday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are gathered here to worship in faith, those who are praying with us online, and those who cannot attend Mass today, may the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, strengthen our faith in the resurrection and the life of the world to come, while we celebrate our Savior, the Christ, risen, risen Christ, who will transform our mortal bodies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, while we ask you to hear our prayer according to your holy will, we praise you and we give you thanks, for you have raised your Son, Jesus, to new life. May our share in his life this day make us a life with faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ, your Son, and may his mother, our Mother Mary, intercede for us in this Easter time as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Next Sunday is Divine Mercy Sunday, when we celebrate the great mercy that Christ won for us by saving death and resurrection. Please join our collaborative celebration next Sunday at 3 p.m. in St. Mary's Church as we have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and play the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy in an intercessory prayer led by our deacons that extends the offering of the Eucharist. Please note that the Easter Collection Day is for the Clergy, Healthy, and Retirement Trust this collection supports the retirement and medical needs of our priests of the Archdiocese of Boston. These priests have devoted their lives to faithfully serve Christ, the church, and all those in our spiritual needs. Thank you for a generous contribution.
brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are praying. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. And eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when Safe was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all nations. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Heavenly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Mothers, with Saint Martha and all the saints who have pleased you to all the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty. 
accept your command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant that peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Thanks to our leader and thanks to our volunteers who are working hard so that we can have mass in this church. And also thanks to Kathy and Phil for helping us to stream mass so that others can pray with us online. Thanks to all of you. <laughs> Bow down for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Today is Easter solemnity, and he in compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restored you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have down to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in the spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter to all of you. Thank you. Cheers.